Welcome to this week's edition of The Lowdown, presented by Lexus. Robbie Mosso, Tim Howard have five questions. Apparently, I'm going to need, all I know is I'm going to need a lot longer than 30 seconds each, because they've been saying that for the past couple of minutes, um, about the action over this course of the weekend. Robbie, you number one? I am. Uh, OK, so what did you make of Jurgen Klopp's team selection today? <sighs> One of those situations where it's my job to question everything. And when it came out, we were like, ooh, OK, Sobersly on the bench, mm, McAllister on the bench, Nunez on the bench, he's been a bit rubbish recently, Salah on the bench, also not been great recently, but mm. that's a lot of big names to leave on the bench. So I was all, you know, my concern immediately when that comes out is massive risk, massive gamble, which it was. And it still was, even though they won. It was still a big, big gamble, because could you have imagined if they'd lost that game, Rob? It would have been a. Dis I mean, for him to have got five games left and for they've done to have done that and it to have backfired would have been awful for Liverpool and Klopp. So I didn't, I didn't love the changes when they came out, but you've got to say they worked, worked an out. absolute mm -hmm. treat. And the most important thing is he saved minutes in those legs mm. for the game uh, against Everton Wednesday. Tim, <laughs> let's get stuck in the forest, shall we? Oh my God. So you were handed a piece of paper Somewhere with a Nottingham Forest statement. You saw it for the first time when you read it. What was your initial thoughts? OK, so I was handed a piece of paper, which I often am when we're alive, <laughs> oh. right? And I could see that it was text as opposed to maybe a stat. And I was, I was going to get to it, but I forgot we were doing other things. There was a lot going on. And our stage manager, Dusty, got in my eye line to the <laughs> left-hand side of that camera and held a copy of it up as in, read it! <laughs> and so I'm like talking to you, Everton, and then we're going, I think I'm talking over some pictures and I pick it up and I'm, I read it blind. So I actually hadn't pre-read it, um, which happens quite a lot. So when I got to the bit about the Luton fan, I thought someone's, someone stitched me up here. This, there's no chance a professional football club releases that kind of statement. Mm. It was staggering. I mean, effectively accusing a referee of being biased. That's mm. absolutely outrageous. I'm so disappointed in them as a club. I like Forrest. I want Forrest to stay up. I think... They add a lot to the Premier League. They're, they're one of English football's most romantic clubs, full of all that history and heritage. They are letting themselves down week in, week out. And that, I think, was a disgrace. Mm. That was a, Who cares? The penalties, by the way, they're talking about. Some might have been, some might not have been. It's a subjective game. That's why there's a referee. He's not a robot. It's subjective. You make a decision. OK, we disagree with it. But to release a statement and then to accuse... The, and by the way, the, sorry, I know I'm going, taking um, it off. But the fact that they had actually gone to the PGMOL last week and said, oh, by the way, PGMOL, um, Stuart Atwell, by the way, is on the... What's it got to do with you? <laughs> Nottingham Forest. Play your game. Why don't you score some goals and win some games? And by the way, sort your finances out while you're at strong, it. Strong, strong. IFS, <laughs> I feel strong and right there. All right, you ready for the next question? A bit this is a layup, it's easy. Okay, so this is an easy one. Sheffield United uh, are likely heading down. Who's <coughs> going to go down with them? I'm not saying it's not easy, maybe it's not an easy question. I don't question. think that is that easy. No. That's not easy. No. All right, never mind. I mean, Burnley are on the charge. But can they do it? Don't be biased about Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that. I, 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 um, it's going to have to be Burnley. I just, I, I think they've got yeah. the old result in them, but I don't think they can string a couple. I think the, the whole season proves that. And I think it's going to come down to Forrest and Luton. And I think I'm going to go with Romance. Hmm. And I'm going to go with Luton to stay up. So I'm going to go with oh, Forrest to go down. Wow. I think they'll get maybe a point back, Forrest, from their appeal, maybe one, which will help them. Hmm. But... It's still super tight, and they've Very both tight. got four games to go, and there's only a point in it right now, so I'm going with Luton to stay up. Okay. You know my opinion. Should Ollie Watkins win Player of the Year? Yes. I was thinking this only the other day. I mean, what are his numbers now? Insane. He got another assist today. Yep. I think he's got 11 assists. 20, it was 19, 19, 19 goals. goals, 12 assists, I'm being told in my ear. Mm. That is... That is... Other, I mean, 19 goals, full stop, should be in the running for Player of the Year. But to get 12 assists as well... You've got no penalties, by the way. Uh, that, that's the point. I, that's yeah. what I read this week. Yeah, no, no penalties. penalties. Yeah. He, he told Palmer. us in the summer he wanted, he wanted to he get wanted 20. He wanted 20, didn't he? He did tell us in the summer when we met him. But Cole Palmer, who I love, by mm. the way, and I think is incredibly impressive, has, has a lot of penalties. Don't know how many, but a lot. Mm. You probably know, mm. Musty. Mm. But a lot. To have no penalties... Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it's, it's, that's it's, insane. For me, he is, he doesn't he's not a nomination. He is the winner mm -hmm. of Player of the Season 2023-24, Oliver Watkins. Next. Wow. I mean, I'm absolutely oh, revved up. Let's go. I'm revved up. Forrest have I got think, me revved up. I think up. I have the last question for you. <laughs> this is a fun question. Which Sean Dice do you prefer 
Tracksuit Sean <laughs> or regular suit question. Sean? It's a great, it's a great question. question. <laughs> well, I think, well, I think, I think it's time for a change. Yeah. I think the tracksuit Sean could be the future. I think I like the effort made in a suit wearing manager. I do like a suit on a manager. I think it's official and I think that there's too much dressing down in life generally, in my opinion, I'm so old fashioned. But I do, I think it's nice to dress up. The fact, the fact that you wear suits and ties yes. and little handkerchiefs, well, Mussy don't, but you do, Tim, is lovely because it's an important, it's the television, it's important, right? Football's important, but Sean's done it for years. I think it's always time for a change. Him in the little funny tracksuit thing that he wore. <laughs> he ain't changing now. He won a game. Yeah, definitely. De I mean, that's football. You, superstitions everywhere mm. you look. He is definitely wearing that and probably won't even wash it either. <laughs> Another thing happens a lot in football. That was this week's edition of the... Is that it, That's a good lowdown. That's good. Uh, the long lowdown. You can watch it again if you want on the NBC Sports YouTube channel. That's where all of our original content is at. Plus Premier League Update. The two Robbies on their podcast and the Premier League Tactics session as well. That was this week's edition of The Lowdown presented by Lexus. We'll be back next week. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.